Self Love is the New Sexy, the podcast devoted to helping you overcome life's most painful and stubborn challenges so you can feel great, have more energy, and live stress free every day. To reach your full potential, simply work with the powerful spiritual principles that are readily accessible to everyone. It's easier than you think. And on today's show, W. Mark Watts is going to show you how starting with self love is the key to joyously and harmoniously making that happen. Hey, everybody, it's W. Mark Watts. And I want to say a big thank you to everyone who's been gracious enough to take the time out to listen to this very first episode of my new podcast called Self Love is the New Sexy. There's just something about that title that caught my attention, that caught me and grabbed me that I knew I had to do something with it. And so here's the podcast. So I know you guys probably have questions, so I'm going to try and answer a few of those in the short episode here, and then we'll move on and and get started. So the first reason that I decided to make this podcast was uh, most like most people who do shows, it's either a huge point of interest. It's usually something that they really a topic that they really enjoy or maybe something they're good at, or it could be a pain point. Well, mine started as a pain point. And yep, you guessed it, love. It was at the time that I'm recording this episode, it was almost two years ago that my uh, love life fell apart because the love of my life chose or decided that we should no longer be together. And I have to tell you that, yes, on many levels, I was devastated. It was it was very difficult on me. And, and I'll get into more specifics in some of the episodes to come. But it was very tough to get over that. And so I had to figure out, how do I do this? And as I started along that journey, like many others before me have, you realize, or I came to realize, that I was deficient in loving myself. And so therefore, self-love became a big topic of discussion for me, a huge place. And that became the centerpiece of what I used to start to build my life back and regain my confidence and, and really get back out here and start to really achieve and and move even beyond where I was before. So I figured that if it was such a big deal for me that other people may be experiencing some of the same things and that I might be able to help. And so therefore I decided to create a podcast just to share my experience and share my knowledge and, and take your feedback and see if I could contribute in any way, shape or form to anyone who may be experiencing something similar to what I've experienced because you know we all go through challenges in life and it's better when you have people who can offer some bit of insight to you that might help you along that path so if I can shorten that path or brighten your day or maybe even just give you something to take you away from the the monotony of everyday life or some of the things that you're dealing with then that's what this show wants to do And so what can you expect from me? So you can expect fairly short episodes. I'm going to always try my best to keep these episodes between 10 and 15 minutes long. On occasions, they may go a little longer if I if I get going or if I have a special guest and when I do an interview, they may go longer. But I want to keep them fairly short because, number one, that's the way I like it. I don't like to listen to super long, drawn out episodes, even though many of them are good. Because it's very difficult to retain any information. And what I'm more in, you know, I'm more concerned with in this show is I want to give you some nuggets that you can, number one, take here, get in quickly, remember. And then I want to give you something that you can go try, some technique, something that I want you to consider applying in your everyday life that might help you. And if I give you 30, 45 minutes, it's going to be more difficult for you to get that. So I want to give you something short, quick to the point so that you can get in and get out. Something that you can even listen to on your break while you're at work or on your commute to to the to work. Or if you've got a few minutes when you get home while you're cooking dinner, I want to give you something that you can listen to then. And then also I want to give you something small enough where you can listen to it multiple times, because for me, 
in our busy lives, our minds are moving 100 miles an hour. And so I've learned that over time, if I really want to retain something or if I really want to listen to something, I have to listen to it more than once. Because that first time that you listen to it, you're kind of like just paving the way for your brain to take in what's actually being said during the show. The second time you listen to it, you start to pick up certain things. And then if you listen to it for a third time, you're going to pick up even more things and you're going to reinforce the things that you heard the previous time or two. So I like to listen to things two or three or even more times, depending on how much I really want to grasp the material and listen to what they're saying. So that's why this podcast is going to be, you know, eight, 10 minutes, no more than 15 minutes on average per episode. So you can get in and get out because, again, that's what I like to do. So I hope that you will stick around for me. Um, This is such a beautiful topic, and we're going to get into so many different aspects and so many different things. And again, I'm going to bring on guest hosts, and we're going to have some fun, and we're going to really enjoy and uplift each other. And I'm going to look for your comments and, you know, give me your feedback. And I want you to reach out to me and tell me your thoughts and uh, things that you want me to talk about and just I want you to get involved. I don't want this to be a one way show. I want this to be a dialogue between you and I, because at the end of the day, we're all family and family helps each other out. We communicate. We love one another and we enjoy one another and we help each other. And that's what this podcast is all about. So, again, welcome to the very first episode of Self Love is the New Sexy. And I'm looking so forward to meeting, talking with, connecting with so many of you out there so that we all can really love ourselves more than we love anything else. Because when we do that, then everything else in our life flows to and flows so greatly that it's unmatched. But it all starts with loving ourselves. And so once I realize that, man, things really start to shift for me. And, and the sun came out and was bigger and brighter than it's ever been in my life before. So I just want to share that as much as I, as I can of that with you all, whoever are willing to take a chance and listen to the show. So thank you again for taking the moment to listen. Look forward to connecting with you going forward. And I hope you enjoy the show. Take care, everybody. I'll talk with you again very soon. Bye now. You've been listening to Self Love is the New Sexy with W. Mark Watts. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to tell a friend. Also, make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our show on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, or wherever you listen to podcasts.